In this video I would like to show you how you can map um, multiple informations in respect, for example, to the composition of an, a site using JS and how you can uh, use diagrams in a JS to represent this uh, composition and uh, yeah, this relative composition of different objects there. So maybe that's um, you will find other use cases than the specific one here this kind of uh, pie chart doesn't make so much sense but nevertheless um, it will help you to get an idea how you can do that with more me meaningful um, values so in this case here um, we have the grave numbers and the artifacts from this one burial ground uh, the like we extracted them now multiple times from uh, in our database and now we would like to probably to show how is the uh, composition of the different artifacts at the different grave numbers and for that that's a 1 to m um, relationship but this time um, I would like to show um, or transform that into a 1 to 1 relationship to be able to represent all the objects at the individual sites and to at the same time combine these informations in something like a pie chart to represent the uh, composition here. First thing we have to do in that respect is to transform this 1 to m relationship into a 1 to 1 relationship and we have here multiple objects per grave. Um, one way to represent that in an individual rows where each um, object has only information, each row has only the information for one side, for one grave for example. We have seen that multiple times already now for representing our data in diagrams or using a correspondence analysis. We have to produce a pivot table for that. So here with our data, with my data, I start with creating a pivot table and I have already selected the relevant columns here so I just say OK and now I have this dialog here where I can say the grave numbers should be in the rows the names of the artifacts or types here should be in the columns and at the same time I will count how many count how many artifact names are there for the individual grave numbers per column here per artifact type and when I do this I get this kind of table here that you already are quite familiar with. We have here the individual graves, we have here the different objects and now we have counts for the number of the different objects here. So this is still uh, this kind of view, this pivot table that contains some formulas and we cannot directly save that into a relevant file format that we can use for mapping. So first I just highlight the part that contains the information that I would like to have. So that's grave number and the different objects here, all the columns and all the rows. Copy and I will make a new spreadsheet over here and paste this information in. And now we have just the values here and no additional ne unnecessary information there. Now I can save this file save as and I will save that in my downloads folder where there's a lot of other stuff here and I already uh, have saved that like that so here's pivot grave I just name it like that but I want to save that as a CSV file to be able to import that into QJS and here we can see pilot underscore graves dot CSV as a CSV file I save it like that I have already saved that so that's why I'm asked if I want to replace that yes I want and use CSV format for saving. And then I get this export dialog where I can change the settings. I would suggest that you leave them like you used to uh, save them um, to not get confused with that. I leave here the uh, Anglo-American version with the comma as field delimiter. Okay, now I have a data set where each row contains the information for one grave and now I can combine this like we have done before with um, the spatial information that holds the same grave number as an ID. To do that I open up QJS 
put it over here and here is my um, project already there and now I can add this file this data set under layer add layer and uh, add layer and then I want to have a delimited text layer or get rented text datei and now I select the location where it's stored so it's here pivot graves I can select that and um, usually as we have seen be before um, here is already CSV I can change some settings for the CSV file uh, and I don't have any geometry so I just click here no geometry I just import the attribute table and add it to that and also as we have seen before now I can add a join here directly in the settings of this uh, of the spatial information here this can be to graves and I make a join here where I say I want to join this with pivot graves grave number should be ID um, we have set that up before you can click on OK and apply OK and now if I click on an individual point here I see also all this information here from um, the joint table pivot graves here so that's essentially like we did before now we have multiple columns information columns that represents here um, the number of different objects in this layer or at this specific grave here for example and I can use this to pre produce a diagram for the Miskovich graves I go again to properties and symbology and now I don't want to have a simple symbol here oh um, sorry no uh, I want to have a simple symbol here that's fine I want to have a diagram attached to the simple symbol so I go to diagrams and I can select for example pie chart you can also use a uh, bar chart or it's also bar chart here but here it's called histogram I select pie chart and now I have to select which attributes I want to use in the pie chart in that case here it's all the attributes that we have from our joint tables it's everything that starts with pivot graves in that case here I add all of them here and you can see automatically I get a number of different colors here um, since we have so many different artifact types this doesn't make so much sense so I also would like to encourage you to use a more reduced set of attributes if you want to use a pie chart together with your data but here for demonstration purpose we can work like that I click on apply and OK and now you can see a lot of pie charts are connected to the burials where we have some information in respect of their um, composition I can also change the style a bit for example I can change the general setting of the diagram the size it makes sense in this case to reduce the size a bit so I just say 5 millimeter now oh, that's probably a bit too small let's say 8 and I can say where I want to set the pie chart just on top of the point or above the point so you can play around here with whatever setting fits you and if I, oh, I say above the point now to see a difference here and now I can zoom in and you can see the different pie charts and the more I zoom in in this case the more detailed I get the composition of the individual graves here if I would change that to around the point then there is some um, algorithm that tries to organize the pie charts so that they don't overlap so much but since if we are getting very close to the original object that will not be possible here but in that case it works okay now you see now you have seen how you can use diagrams in relation to uh, derived informations and in the next video I will show you how you can map more complicated things using the same kind of basic data set in an M to M relationship here we just made a simple joint but for this more complicated um, joints we need to produce a virtual layer from our original data that will be shown in the next video